Hello all, this week's declaration is I am outrageously loved and it's just been on my mind this week because I think that many of us actually really struggle to receive God's love because we don't feel worthy and so a root in receiving this declaration I'm outrageously loved is actually in knowing our righteousness I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm washed whiter than snow. I'm wholly blameless and without reproach. Because when we receive our righteousness, our hearts will open to receive the love of God if the barrier to receiving his love is to do with not feeling worthy. I have really had to allow the Lord to transform me by the renewing of my mind in this area because I for many years thought I wasn't pleasing to God because I wasn't doing well enough. He must be disappointed in me because I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough. So my barometer of how loved I was by God was dependent on my success and my performance. And I need to be retrain my mind in this area to know that his love for me is not dependent on my performance. And knowing our righteousness really helps silence those lies of you're not worthy to receive God's love, you're not lovable, nobody loves you, no one will ever love you, God rejects you just like all the other people have rejected you, and those unhealthy tapes that can play over in our minds. So I'm going to read from Romans 5 verse 5, um, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us, okay, a gift the gift of the Holy Spirit and the gift of God's love. That's not something we've earned. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Verse eight, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So that really speaks of the fact that his love and his saving grace is not dependent on our performance. It was while we were still sinners. It was while we were far off. It was while we didn't deserve it. So if that is where he saves us, know that that is where he loves you as well. He loves you in that same way that is full of grace. So be encouraged. Your righteousness is not dependent on your own performance. It is only in Jesus's performance and in his forgiveness that we are righteous and furthermore your lovability to God is not based on your righteousness it is not based on your performance your lovability to God is based on him and his outpouring of love through the Holy Spirit into your heart so receive it put to death those lies and those tapes that have told you for so long you are not worthy to be loved because you're not good enough. That is simply not true. The Father longs to lavish his love upon you, to lay a table for you and to have a feast with you in the midst of your enemies. Oh, when we really get his, get his love, understand and receive his love, we can rest because until we know his love, we will be striving striving for approval and affirmation and adoration we will be striving to be loved elsewhere either by God or by other people because that is our deep heart's desire so rest today in the knowledge that God loves you not based on your performance and when those voices of condemnation come stand in your righteousness in Christ because that is all that we have bless you